All right, okay, we are back for part thirteen. I'm sort of half in it at this point. <laughs> Probably We're half in it. Half in what? Everything. You in every episode. Mentally, I'm just like half here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, now I've been relegated to the catacombs. The pass. Oh, I've got a good talking can point. You use we a can use a silver night sword. Uh, we well, have we, the dexterity. It means we need to downgrade shit, so... No, we don't. Yeah. We have twinkling titanite. No, it means we need to upgrade stuff. Yeah, oh. but we have twinkling titanite, because you got it from the Great Hollow. A bit, I think. Two. It's enough, it's the catacombs. They're fucking weak skeletons. Oh, Just do it. Wait, See the, if you can wield the silver knight sword. Uh, the thing is... it's plus two, and it does as good base damage, and we have dexterity, and it scales all right with dex. Wait, what? Insufficient strength. What do you mean? I need 14 strength. We have 12. BAM! Can give us 14 strength. Can we level up twice? But then we'll have the. You've got soul packets. The... Fuck. Yeah, I've got a soul packet that could do it. But then we won't have the monies for the upgrades because Titanite weapons cost like 2k. But no, we've got a few packets. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we good then. Uh, I think I only need. Yeah, this will do. It. And I, I realised that we can go to the giant blacksmith who sells twinkling Titanite. Oh. He does indeed. Two thousand a piece. So. Oh wait, I didn't get. It. Is that a giant white but I, I've got a, I've got a talking point. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Andre the story. I've got a talking. He's like point. white Mike Tyson. I uh, fucking love it. <coughs> you all hear about that little incel that shot up a Madden tournament? Oh, <laughs> that is a good talking point. What's your, what's your hot take on this? I want to I mean, see what your specific Madden cause Madden. Madden cause Madden. <laughs> 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 Right, I think it's very interesting that the first shooting to happen at a games tournament, right? The first time that this has ever occurred, not in any of the games that cause violence, not any of your satanic stuff. You're not, not, not any even of your GTA. shooters. Their not your favourite one. Not um Fortnite. Not your fighting games. None of that. It was a Madden tournament. <laughs> the most normie game imaginable. <laughs> Uh, there's that one guy, um, Shocking. he got banned from Yu-Gi-Oh events because he threatened that he was going to not only shoot up the place but <laughs> rape people's girlfriends at the same time. <laughs> because people just kept um, people just kept bullying him and he, he just he just lost oh, his yeah, mind one day. Just... Right sword. Oof, poor edgy boy. I know. But uh, yeah, the, the Madden thing's crazy. Like, oh, right, so I did see this thing recently and it was this guy killed his entire family, his wife and two daughters. Nice. And he's like, and in, and oh, the, I heard about this right, guy. And in the papers, he's like presented as like, oh, he's poor, poor white man, mental health, and he, he was a he was a really great father. But then mm. there's this black guy that um, he was a really great father, but he strangled his child. This black guy accidentally killed the guy because the guy was like following his daughter, so he like punched him, but like like killed him with a punch. Oof, and then he's like, um, he's Oof. held his is like like his uh, picture in the paper. It's all just his mugshot, and it's all just like this thug. Blah, blah blah black guy nothing no no mention of like the reason of why no context involved Fair. perfect no. the way it should be no it's almost <laughs> like someone's trying to push a narrative instead almost of news too. still it's but uh, crazy uh, isn't it but like, here's hot the take right hot take if you kill a man with a single punch you kill a healthy man with a single punch <laughs> you should be given a medal before <laughs> your crimes are judged <laughs> get a presidential pardon <laughs> <laughs> No, judges just like, realistically he should get cunt. He Trump just get, hires him as a bodyguard and gives him a pardon. Just no, 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 he should get a UFC contract, mm. not a gym sense. So I've Sick. solved it for Trump, by the way, right? You've solved it. So people so are solved concerned. Trump's a solved format. People are concerned about like the cost of upkeep of the wall and all that because it's going to have to be enforced and shit like that. Just get prisoners to do it. Game of Thrones, this shit. Like, well, do you want to go to jail or do you want to join the watch? <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> yeah, yeah, fair enough. <coughs> See, I was yeah, going to say, the only problem is the prisons make them a lot of fucking money. See, that's the problem with for-profit prisons. You need to tell Absolutely. them to fuck us down. Okay, so here's the thing, right? See the for-profit prisons, right? So I was thinking about this. I'm surprised that these things' existence isn't a human rights violation. Oh, absolutely, man. That's it's literal slave labor. But, but, and they're like, but, oh, we only pay them so little because it costs us 80 grand a year to house what, them. This is, right, this it is costs you 80 grand a year for a shit mattress, a blanket, and some cafeteria food. But, 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 to be fair, on the other, on the other side yet? The government's Not really 80 bad grand a year per money. person. You're telling me you can see it costing eighty thousand pounds. Well, eighty thousand dollars. There's a lot, there's a lot in that cost. Is like, there's like the overall cost of how much it it made. Right. Medical insurance uh, for prisoners. So the medical costs, how much the actual prison itself cost, all the food, all, all the cleaning. There's so many little costs. But the reason why the think. medical costs are so high is because the government subsidised, so they can charge whatever they fucking want for it. That's why they charge so fucking much. So you stop them doing that, and then suddenly have to charge reasonable amounts. 
the thing is though, like the eighty thousand per prisoner is so badly fucking inflated because it doesn't cost you eighty grand to house someone for a fucking year in prison. No you're giving them bare essentials. Like you're gonna tell ah, me, you're like, giving them bare essentials. Literally, like, you're giving them basically fuck. They're lucky if they get double ply toilet paper, probably. Oh god. So like, you, oh, you're not. It should be in prison. The, the expenditure in terms of like, like what so you this need. Is a question is should just prison be not eighty grand hell? per person. Well, like it, fuck you. You're gonna sit there and tell me that it costs you eighty grand a year to house someone. Any kind of luxury in prison. It's, it's gonna give. It's eighty grand a year who for being in prison. But my my national living wage is apparently fifteen grand a year. I mean, I guess, I guess. It does make a point that individually a person can live on far less than that a year. Exactly. So, so how are you telling me that someone who's on the bare essentials, you literally limit how much time they spend outside, how much time they spend watching TV and all that shit. You literally limit all the things in their lives that would cost you money in terms of resources. Yeah, that's to the point where they're living less than what they would be if they weren't in prison, obviously. Yeah, that but we can live on less than what you know, it costs that, them. That brings up like such a good shit. That's 80 a grand a year in prison, but we can live on 15 grand a year here. Yeah, that brings up such an argument. Like, how yeah. does that make any you fucking sense? You, yeah, you give people, you live people, who are, people who haven't committed crimes who are poor and in poverty less than that, and yet you're going to spend far more money on someone who's committed like, proper actual crimes. If you're on job seekers, yeah. you're living it doesn't on make any quid a week. Yeah. You go to prison, That's you're living fine not. and sweet for zilch. You're not even. The prisons are just saying it is so they can keep charging as much as they fucking are and then complain about costs being too high. So they can keep all the fucking facilities at like really yeah, shit standards. No, yes. you could, right, but you could definitely argue that considering that people are like criminals, right, you could think that they don't necessarily deserve to meet the that particular standard. But where do you draw that line though? Because there's people in prison that shouldn't be in prison. But in terms of violent drug offenders, so it costs it costs the taxpayer money to house these people, right? But where do you draw that line on whether or not these people should be housed in prison or not? Where do you draw that line in terms of? That's not really the argument though. That's a completely different argument. The questions. Should these should someone that's a criminal under something that you rightly rightfully think they should be in jail for? You know, should they have to? Have human rights apply to them? Well, right, right. Human rights, yes, but in terms of like the the labour costs, um, a lot of the times the labour is, um, like the labour is optional. Like they don't have to do it. They're heavily um, encouraged to do it, though. Yeah, I mean that is true. But then most the, of them actually want to do it. That's why they like they they they. So right, right, there's an even bigger level to this question, and I think that realistically, prisons should definitely, definitely, it should be like. Like a worldwide legal requirement that all prisons are uh, re- rehabilitatory, rehabilit you know for rehabilitation rather than like some people can't be punishment. punishment. Uh, some people can't be. Okay, some people can't be, but the thing is, is that you look at uh, a lot of the prisons. Like, Someone's got a life sentence. Why the fuck would you be doing anything about rehabilitation? But but we're talking about other things like well, so. Not a sociopath. There's no way to rehabilitate. Right, you're, so you're just assuming. Like you're just assuming that all crimes are the absolute worst they can be. Without no, but I'm not. saying like when when you're I'm saying, saying that, that there are exceptions to your argument. Of course there are exceptions, are. but right now there are no exceptions to the opposite of that. It's just they're all punishment based rather than um, uh, like rehabilitation based. I don't know, man. Minimum security. And the bonfire's not down based. here. That's not good. I know. I'm kind of shitting myself here. And personally, like you look at um, like so when the when prisons are. Um, Based around rehabilitation, like the, the what's the the word for like reoffend? Like so, I guess like reoffending rates go down like by quite a bit, and um, that's what you want, right? You want people to come out come out of prison and not just go straight back to being that's um, true. That's a criminal. Worse. Like that doesn't that doesn't help anybody. You could also solve that by not lying about how much it costs to keep criminals, and then you can pay them better money for the work that they well, do. Well, so here's an interesting question. Right, so why do you think they get out of prison? why do you think that it's you know criminals should be getting paid a decent amount for their work, but you don't think that prisons should be rehabilitated? Like, no, I think they should be rehabilitated as well, but I'm saying there's a way that you can like stop people reoffending by getting them out of prison on a Shit. decent fucking Whoa. side. That's oh, fine, you got Whoa. a little uh, battle buddy. Yeah, is he on my side? Yeah. But, um, so, the way I... Oh, wow, he just got fucking... I can't walk <laughs> on him, he's actually on no, my he's side. On, he's on your side, yeah. He's also the chosen undead. You can damage him, though. And he's a grave lord. You can damage him, though. He's a nice grave lord. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So what they could do is, right, instead of paying them, like, fucking less than a dollar an hour for the work that they do, which is often maintaining the prison so that the prison actually doesn't have to pay the cost for maintenance because they just pay them slave wages, basically. Sure. So that's one way for the prison to cut costs is that they don't have to actually pay much for maintenance because they'll just get the prisoners to do it and then pay, like, a fiver to get some, like, massive fucking cement hole filled in. Whereas they have to pay a company a decent amount to get that done. So they save a fuck ton of money doing that. So I don't see how they can't pay them a little bit more money. 
Don't pay them like fucking the thing is, living this- wage because they still do have costs of upkeep to maintain, but be realistic, fuck's sake. Like, I'm not saying give them fucking living wage, obviously, because sure. they're still in fucking prison for a reason. Like, there's, there's well, a, a degree amount. where you ha- Yeah, like, a fair amount. Give them, like, fucking a few more quid an hour, a few more dollars an hour for doing the what So that when they do get Especially out of prison after a long work. sentence. Yeah. If they do get out of prison after doing a long sentence, they'll actually get somehow, some way to land on their feet. They're not yeah. just going to be out and doing fucking, oh, that's you free. Oh, great, I'm free to what? Go out on the streets and do what? With zero money and zero fucking job prospects. Okay, At least so this way they can go fucking, like, rent up in a fucking shitty motel for a few days until they find, figure something out. So what is your opinion on... Right, so... In te- the, you know, right, right, I don't want to say this because I'm really talking more about all crimes and the way it's related to mental health, but do you think that paedophilia is, for instance, a mental condition and people should be maybe a little bit more sympathetic to the fact that people feel that way and can't help feeling that way despite maybe wanting to or not? I, no. I don't think people should be more sympathetic because it's, well, it is a mental condition, sure. Give, given sympathy, this kind of horrible. thing, it's, it's a really fucking dangerous path well put yourself yeah. I, right okay I, I don't think it is because saying like that's just a slippery slope argument and I'm not saying it's a slippery way. slope at all I'm just saying that the moment that you show any kind of respect for anything to that sort of person you're yeah I feel I like, like, I feel like you're beginning to encourage them so uh, my the counter argument to that in my opinion is like going down the opposite route of being like oh it's evil then, but it is. No, but that's the thing is that evil doesn't exist. Evil is just like a man-made concept. Yeah, but objective harm isn't. Yeah, and objective harm is. I'm not saying, by the way, that we should let let it, uh, let it away with, but I think that you know there's. Um, I, d- I don't think that necessarily these people should be quite as vilified because I think that ultimately it might make the problem worse. Because, for instance, right? Alright, how about how about this? What if they were to put them in mental institutions rather than jails? Um, I think like so. I think there should be not mental institutions because at the same time I don't think it's quite the same as like being um, <coughs> like dangerously mentally ill. Obviously, there's certain people that could be dangerously mentally ill. I think if you're a paedophile, you're dangerously <coughs> you're mentally ill. If you've been convicted for like because yeah, I mean, paedophile. let's face it, okay, you're so willing to do harm to a child. So there's definitely people who have those feelings but will never act upon them and because of how vilified it is these people can't get any help for that because they can't come out and admit to it because yeah they're... but that's where you put them in mental health and you put the ones who actually act on it in a fucking blackout cell for life a blackout but surely these people yeah. could have more value than that uh, no I don't, I'd rather not take their value if that's, if yeah, that's the even way if you even themselves. if you're putting them on the fucking chain gang for a wee bit of slave labour then there's always a chance yeah. they could get free don't I'd, risk that I wouldn't want their help gang. There's, there's a point where I'm just like, nah, it's fine, you can fucking... Oh, you ain't oh. helping me with shit, I don't want anything to do with it. But I don't aren't these the guys that people. are, like, down in the catacombs? They're wearing the elite cleric armor. Oh, did we get the elite cleric armor? That'd be so cool. We can farm it all oh, thing. fuck me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You got fucked. <laughs> You're gonna get fuck fucked up. again. You got fucked twice. I managed to hit him, though, so one more hit. You traded. Oh, thank fuck. He cast it too many times and he tried to do it again. The fool! Yeah, I'm gonna chime in in this part now, Tony. Okay. You're a fucking paedophile. That's no, he's a paedophile sympathiser, Ryan. By the way, this okay, is a because I don't really know how I feel on it because I get both sides of the argument. So I think if you act on it, you deserve absolutely nothing. Oh, right, I, I understand that. That's not what I'm saying. No, this um, is why I'm saying put them in a fucking blackout cell so that they never see the light of day again. Rob them of all fucking senses and make it feel like they've been in there for an eternity when it's only been a fucking day. That's 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 worse. Like, uh, if it was me personally, I'd rather get touched up by a paedophile and have to go through that. They deserve the worst. What? Like, I'm not for capital punishment because I feel like that lets them off with it. You think that lets them off with it? I think. But you think that torture's okay? No, I don't think torture's okay. But that's basically what you're saying. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is that I'd find it a better punishment to lock them up in a cell for the rest of their lives than to let them off easy and end the punishment almost immediately for them. They should have to pay for what they've done in some way. But what you described was. Um, oh, right, what about that argument that people say that what, when it what comes to the so they, they should have no sense. Solitary confinement in technically room. isn't torture. It is torture. No, it isn't. Yes, yes it, it is. is. It technically isn't. Right. No matter what's technically legally it isn't. isn't. Right, we'll lock you in the cupboard then for a day in the dark. We'll see how far you get. No, because I'm not a fucking prisoner. Well, don't say you put someone in the dark cupboard for I years and I years and years. I did yeah, specify that it's. The, I did specify that it's for harsh, like the, the worst types of criminals, like fucking paedophiles and rapists. Okay, and what, right, what, okay, what about what about right? So, you, in a utilitarian standpoint, you could definitely argue that people that caused the credit crisis, um, arguably caused a lot more harm than any one paedophile ever did. So, what do you think should happen to those sorts of people? Is this the bike cuck argument again? No. 
I, he said from a utilitarian's perspective, so absolutely yes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it to me. What? Right, answer it though. So, what do you think of people like I that caused the credit crisis? Say. Well, it's uh, a false. Would you would you say that they intentionally did that? Um, yeah, probably. They de- almost certainly knew what they were doing. Then good I would say that there's not works. enough of it in there's comedy to draw a reasonable comparison. Well, mate, you're going to get shafted. Oh, That's what I would say. There's not enough that they share right, to draw okay. a reasonable well, I'd, comparison. I'd say this. I'd say It'd be like comparing Dark Souls to FIFA. There should be a law against you know intentionally crashing the fucking economy. Yeah. What about even but unintentionally see, crashing the economy because manslaughter is still a thing? Yeah, well, fair enough. Yeah, okay. yeah, because there's there still should, like there should be a law against crashing the economy. But as there isn't, there shouldn't be punished. You don't retroactively punish people with laws. Um, I think with certain things, you probably that's fine. Retroactively, that's just people. not how society works, mid. Well, I don't know. Okay, just let. You I don't. Know. I think these people should be brought to justice in some way. Over paedophiles. I think they're definitely. No, not shit. over paedophiles. Uh-huh. What? You can do more than one thing at a time, right? <laughs> not like, your so business. Like, now let's talk to the paedophiles. Let's say this wait, all the paedophiles the table. bankers. <laughs> <laughs> My stance on this is they should be punished, but there was no law at the time, so they can't be punished. It just sounds like the bike cock. <laughs> <laughs> No, it doesn't. It's saying that we I love the white. The we live in the real world. The I love the white women shit. argument. That's to the what argument. To do it's great. They should be chemically castrated. It's like every white woman says that's what should happen. I don't think that would solve the problem, though. Yeah, no, I don't get it. Like, they're still going to be attracted to children. Just, that just means no, like, no. If you're chemically castrated, you don't really have any sexual feelings. But you're still going to be attracted to them. It will be like no. That's not how it works. Dull like, down. Like severely, if you sure. get chemically castrated, you kind of lose all of that kind of emotion or desire. Like, oh, you've that no, sounds... you've no set like drive for sex at all. Oh, right, doesn't still it? doesn't sound. So not meant to be a mental illness could still drive you to do it. However, okay, there was definitely meant to be a bonfire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there isn't. Haha. Do I don't know why you keep oh, thinking you're going to find a bonfire. Do you need a bonfire We're never going to find a bonfire ever again. Oh, See, oh shit, I bet they've changed Pinwheel. I've not seen what they've done yet. Oh, I'm excited. At this rate, There's two Taurus demons in there. Look, we've been having a very important discussion. Now, you, you go through the door into Pinwheel's room and you're in the Capra demon room. Only it's like three Capra demons. <laughs> rather than a Capra demon and two dogs no no it's so many Capra demons, demons it just destroys the frame rate because out two <laughs> FPS oh he's not wearing a nice new hat call him a cunt oh thank you how nice of you just murder him mate no I don't because he's a good merchant later in the game you can buy the masks off him so? I like how he's just, just not moving just kill clones they drop them like every fucking fun nah, time nah they're fucking bit it's it's a pain ass. ass it's more of a it takes you 10 minutes to get the mask Come there's the no on. bonfire and worth warping to an era though because you can't warp to the last one into the giants no you can no you can't you can only warp to the first one oh, just go to the first one that's well done then you have to go into the giants it's just, oh. it's just fucking buy them like a grand each this is some first world problem shit right there <laughs> yeah <laughs> So oh, you're I nice. like this oh, update section. First was the undead being able to it? buy your mask. Ever so slightly, yeah. I see. Oh, so what? This is the way they move the bonfire. So are these, are these the same cunts at Firelink Shrine? They're of the same uh, elk. They're of the same like. You're not gonna go region. get the items in them. They're all clerics. Well, they've messed a whole bunch of stuff back here. Oh, have you? All oh, right. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all Thoral and clerics. Yeah. So they are, because that's the elite cleric armor that they're all wearing, and they're all using the fucking crescent axe. So this thing is doing shield. some amount of damage, by the way. Because it's holy. Well, does hey. it do extra damage? Yeah. Who's that, Ryan? It's Caitlin. Just hang up. No, I'm doing that. Ryan, just... Oh my this god. This is disrespectful, Ryan. Hello? Well, don't I feel like a second-rate citizen now? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, fuck. Oh, I know I need to do this bit as well. Fuck me, man. How did that not long ago? It was it. Sense is fun. Did, ah, you see what, did you see what they've done in the Orlando one with the Silver Knight? That just Archer? sounds like the Sens cock argument to me. Mm-hmm. See the two Silver Knight archers? Mm-hmm. You know what they did with one of them? See the one at the back? And they moved it up right slightly. against the wall. No, not right against the wall. Whoa, that just one shot him! Just, yeah. Just up ever so slightly so that they can hit you further along the Oh, this pole. makes this makes Because it hit me sense. at the point where I'm like, oh, I'm safe from the back one here now, and it just fucking shot me in the back. The Divine Ember being here makes a lot more sense, I think. Yeah, but now what's in where the Divine Ember was, eh? I don't even remember eh? where the Divine Ember was. It was in that fun. horrible pit with all the giants. Right at the start of the giants, you have to go back the way to get into it. Oh, God, yeah, Jesus. Do you remember? The one that if you didn't have Wrath of God or Firestorm, you just might as well fucking quit. Yeah. You just suicide run that shit. Yeah. It was fine. 
But I was a man last time. They've, they've changed that pit ever so slightly as well, by the way. It's slightly more tolerable. You say they? You mean like he? There's only one guy that did this. Or it could be, I mean, it's 2018, it could be Zer for all we know. I, I assumed due to how or much Zen. it changed. Zim it was, Zam, Flibbity Flam. <laughs> I assumed that due to how much it was changed, it was more than one person that was um, working on the mo- Yeah. Nah, just one cut. What, wow. Well, yeah. Or even more fucking props to them. Powerful then. autism. Damn. Oh, shit. Red so that ain't in Valley Drakes no more. So what's in the Valley Drakes? Uh, uh, nine Havels. That's the mystery! Ten of you. Wait, so what did you point out? The two bleed bars. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. All your resistances have double bars now as well, by the way. Oh, cool. That means I've got double the resistances. Nice. No, it doesn't. Nah, I think it does. <laughs> no, you just have double the notice. You just decided that's what it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, it just tells you twice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it means I've got twice as much. It could, how could yes. it possibly mean okay. anything else? Okay. Well, you go to Blight Town with your That just sounds like the bleed cuck argument. He just keeps coming back to it. Stop it's doing that. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> Give it time. You're not funny. It's not It's not like a fine wine, Tony. It's more like milk. <laughs> You're the anti a funny man. Nah, you just need to give it time. It only gets worse as time goes on. I really like the bonfire being here. I really like it being here. Me too. I'm more impressed with the men that held them. The men with Ven. Yes. Uh, so these guys... I mean, I've only one shot this fucker. Them. You could pull it to the men, and you could all beat it up. Oh, great. There's, oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's hollow men, men too. There's hollow men as well. <laughs> <Men> too. <laughs> Yeah, if the human race is so good, why isn't there a human race too? I don't know, it's white people. <laughs> <laughs> the Earth is so good, why isn't there an Earth too? I, 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 frankly, I well, this this might be Earth too. Earth one might have been Mars. We don't know yet. I'm sure we, no, don't. we know that's not correct. Yeah, Mars you don't is, know that Mars is sure yeah, water on it that's been frozen. Over. Div- wait, you get a divine morning star? Yeah, why not? I love that these drop the elite clerics. They're so sick, man. You sound really happy. It makes so much sense, I'm so happy that you're happy. (laughs) Do you ever, like, think about how fridge has a D, but refrigerator doesn't? Why don't you put your boulder sword back on to do actual damage? What if you see different colours, dude? (laughs) Okay, I'm going to need this guy's help, I think. (sighs) Yeah, get Bob to come help you. I don't think the Titanite demon will get enough shit to come this way. Because you don't pronounce it Fridge. Do you know that (laughs) Bridge also has a D, but Rebrigerator doesn't. (laughs) 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 Oh, Stephen. Oh, (laughs) Thomas Fang, I've heard all day. Well done. Thank you. Uh, Please tell me you made that one up. Yeah. (laughs) Classic Stephen. (laughs) Rebrigerator. But I mean, you made up the word that could have D in it for all you know. Stephen, I it's would have... true. Ha- I do have the casting <laughs> vote. He's decided what it has a D in it and he's decided what it doesn't. You know how much I love Stephen? But there's your question. I would answered. happily give him all the years Gary has left to live just so Stephen would live longer. Oh, wow. Six months. Very generous. <laughs> <laughs> From what? Killing himself or being fat? Um, I'll take your pick. <laughs> That man we is please, huge. We please heal. Well, that's me, Pete. That's, that's the session, Pete. So yeah. yeah. All right, folks. See you later. Bye. Oh Bye, wow. Steven. Selfish. No, I mean, as in, like, I'm, you're not going to get anything greater out of me. So you're going to die. Just, you're going to die. It's going to yeah. be beautiful. Take humanity. Still on the hot. Yeah, yeah. Does he have, does he have Stop have? being a little bitch. She have just fucked him up, mate. Why did you put him? She just called his mum gay. So yeah. I can, yeah, mom gay or something. Look at oh, me. all he did one he more. He didn't time. even Fuck. have a fucking face. How could he see you if he has he didn't no even eyes? drop anything good. Oh, and does he? Oh, okay. It could be a secret wall, mate. Are you going to go in the coffin? They can't just add bits to the map. <laughs> they could. Maybe they can. What if they could? What if there were already bits on the map? What if there were invisible walls the everywhere? And what if, unlocked them? Yeah, what if our eyes were mirrors and the map wasn't real or something? <laughs> what if Jesus was black? Do you know map, what I mean? He was, ba- he was Arab. The map isn't real. No, he was it's Jewish. Virtual. I like how you just I decided that's not to follow thing. the rules of gravity there as you it's, walked it's over not. that pit. No, I was on the Yeah, did you not see the bricks that's fall on sad. the left side of the coffin as you walk in? <laughs> you literally just walked right over it and the guy was like, now nah, I don't feel like falling today. <laughs> well, I mean, I really didn't. Just fuck you, gravity. You can hold up. <laughs> hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah, you just said something rather controversial there, Tony. What? Uh, aren't Jews and Arabs basically the same? Aren't they? No. But, like, in terms of, like... 
Aladdin genus, is definitely right? not a Jew. In terms of genus. Well, I mean, I guess the Jews didn't mm. come from Israel, so I guess they didn't originate from the Middle East, so I guess, um, you know, fuck off, Israel! Is that a hot take? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like you're about to get fucked. Nah, it looks I'm about like to it's currently being fucked. Get fucked, yeah. yeah. Let's get fucked. <sighs> Collision with skeletons, mate. Do you have any weed left? <laughs> oh, he's unicorned he's like you! There for a single joint, so just he's been unicorned! Oh, oh <laughs> wow! You can't backstab it anymore. Can you heal? Oh, that's Tony, twice he's died. Tony Quick, try and grant a wish. Grant? What do you mean? Your unicorn. Yeah, oh. yeah. That's I don't want to be five. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's fine. He's lying. He hasn't. Right, so the bond does, you've not got the holy sword on. Oh, shit. Holy diva. You've been dead so to love a midnight sea. A midnight eye tiger. A midnight sea I thought you said a midnight sea. You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. So you're going on and on about Ronnie James Dio later, earlier, and you don't even know his fucking songs. Don't give a fuck about him. <laughs> <laughs> don't give a fuck I'm about Dio, mate. dead. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's dead. dead. Died yeah. five years ago. Died yeah. of cancer. <laughs> fucking cop out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when's it going to get to the point where they're just going to call cancer natural causes? I mean, I mm-hmm. guess, yeah. Well, it's not fun though because it's. it's you, know, you just <laughs> damaged all of them with fall damage. <laughs> you goomed the stump with four <laughs> bone wheels while they were rolling. Get it fucking up, you cunt. That's a bold move, Carl. Oh. oh, here comes the pain train. Oh, here comes the pain train. <laughs> oh, they're drifting. Night's on fire. <laughs> Please let there be bone wheels in this fight now. Please let there be oh, five yeah, don't, of them. Don't, don't, like, edit in some Eurobeat for that there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Wish me luck, lads. I hope you die. I hope he has some real skeletons. There's definitely going to be real skeletons in here, I without hope he, a doubt. I hope he has quadruple health. Still not that much health, but but still. Ah! <laughs> Summons will fuck you! Yes! Yes! This, <laughs> this is a whole new game. Oh, but he still has shit health, man. You powered with him for pinwheel, you bitch! You bet! I was covered my ass! Fuck you! It's pinwheel! <laughs> you deserved everything that's about to happen to you. I hope he summons 20! 20 wheels killed. You kill two, then he summons three. You kill three, he summons four, it just keeps going up. Why is that fucking no, wheel, wheel skeleton, skeleton hydra? Ah! Fuck! There's a wheel, uh, wheel skeleton summon wheel skeletons, which in turn summon wheel skeletons. Oh, they, imagine, you could probably make a giant wheel skeleton as a boss, realistically, right? Surely. That's terrifying. That's a terrifying I, I don't like the idea of it. And attached to the ske- the skeleton wheel, it's just hot torch hollows, just spinning. <laughs> oh, oh, you could probably set it on fire as well, realistically. Right, we need to stop this, we're going down a dark So road. what happens, what they changed was that it doesn't duplicate. Yeah. Instead it gives you a couple of wheel skeletons. Yeah. Oh, it's still pretty um, easy. And they made it a lot, they gave it a lot more HP. I think they need to give it even more HP, but... Yeah. No, because when get it gets like a new game plus, it'll balance out a bit better. See what mash you've got? Um, oh. Mom Sorry. Right. Well, well me bad. bad. Well, it's I guess that's just one. part done. It's the one that gives you endurance, isn't it? No. It's stamina region. Hmm. Okay, so isn't I that guess. Mask of the yes, we don't. I thought Mask of the Mirror was the health one. Oh, there was me <coughs> thinking that we get to go back to Firelink. Well, somebody's doing Tomb of the Giants next, so that's nice. Yeah, Child is the stamina region one. Yeah, you're right. No, the fuck. 